How tough is the eye alert equipment health sensor? We took a few days to find out. So we decided to run it over with a 5,000 pound 4x4 truck. It didn't even move. So we decided to run it over again. And again. And again. No problem. Still taking measurements. But one problem we did find after running it over was it made the sensor dirty. Not that this affected the performance, it just didn't look as nice, so we decided to wash it. Using a 2000 PSI pressure washer, there, nice and clean. It is unfazed by high water pressure, but maybe changing the temperatures can make it sweat. What if we tried combining both pressure and temperature cycling by freezing the eye alert sensor in a block of ice? Oh, and then thawing it and heating it up to a rapid boil in a matter of minutes. Still works as expected. Okay, that was it. If none of these methods worked to break it, then we had to go bigger, or in this case, higher. Try 40 feet higher. We dropped it from the roof onto the pavement. It did not look good. Walking up on the beat up eye alert sensor, we noticed it was still working. Aside from a few scratches, it was good to go. We even tested it on a vibration table after, and sure enough, it was still taking measurements. If you need to track the temperature and vibration of your rotating equipment, even in the harshest environments around the world, put an eye alert sensor on it. It's up for the task.